Hello, welcome to Your Simple Golf Swing. I'm Matt. Have you ever have had this happen to you where you, all week long you're in your backyard practice net just peering it, hitting beautiful shots, or maybe you go to the range a few times a week and you're hitting ball after ball just perfectly and you really groove this great swing. And then you get out to the golf course. You're so excited. You want to show your friends how much you've improved. And suddenly the swing that seems so promising has abandoned you. Well, what happened? There's a few things that happen, okay? What I see more often than not is I will see, like, especially with my buddies when I go play golf with them, they'll be at the range warming up, and they're just hitting these beautiful, taking these beautiful swings and hitting beautiful shot after beautiful shot. But then when we get out on the course, they tense up. They start letting their arms take over. They start using more muscle. They start quickening their swing. Their tempo goes out the window. They, they stop completing their backswing. All kinds of things go wrong. So how can we get over that? What's a trick, that, a couple of tricks that we can use to help us use that same well-grooved swing that we had on the range or in our backyard net, make that show up time and time again out on the course? Well, I found a couple of tricks. One is I do make it a habit to develop a good pre-shot routine. So my pre-shot routine is I will figure out what my yardage is. Let's say I got 162 yards to the flag. So I know the yardage. I look at the wind, the elevation changes, and I determine, okay, I need an eight iron to reach, to, to reach that flag. So I've picked my club. So now my yardage, done, out of my mind, okay? Next thing, my aim. I look at my target. I pick an intermediate target, which is a spot just be about 12 inches in front of the ball between the ball and the target. And then what I'll do is I'll line up and get ready to hit my shot, okay? Now, my yardage has already been taken care of, all right? So I'm not gonna be standing here with thoughts of, oh wow, I gotta hit this 162 yards, no. I have an eight iron in my hand, more than enough to take that, take on that yardage. My direction is taken care of because I've lined up to my intermediate target. Okay. I know my feet, my knees, my hips, my shoulders are all stacked and parallel to the target line. Okay. Now from here, my main focus is going to be on tempo. And this is where most people mess up because again, they are results oriented. They're thinking about what's going to happen down there at the end of the fairway. Tune that out. Our result that we want to focus on is what's happening in this area right here. Okay. What's happening with our body. That's what we want to focus on. We want to go through those key swing thoughts that I talked about in my video about keys about swing thoughts. Okay. We want to run through that list. We want to stand up to the ball and all we want to think about is putting a good swing on this. Now, how do we control that tempo I talked about? Okay. We want a nice smooth tempo. I've got a video on supple quickness that I recommend that you watch as soon as I get it published. But what we do to focus on tempo is now I change my yardage down that, down that way. And I tell myself that that target is only 125 yards away. I tell myself that my eight iron, if I cream this, I'm going way over that green. So that helps me slow everything down. I slow down my process of, t of, of lining up to the ball. I'm going to slow down my takeaway. I'm going to make sure I do a full turn. Okay. I'm doing a full swing. It's not like I'm going to, okay, I only need to hit this 120 yards. So I'm going to take a short swing and hit it 120 yards. No. I'm going to do a full swing. Okay. But what I'm tricking myself in, into doing is to keep that tempo nice and mellow. Okay. So I tell myself it's 125 yards. If I muscle this, I'm going way over it. So I better just hit it nice and smooth. And what happens is your body is moving much quicker than you think. You're loose, your tempo is not disrupted, 
and you'll hit those beautiful shots that you were hitting on the range and hitting in your backyard, those will show up on the course. Your primary concerns when you get on the course is tempo and completing your backswing, okay? And when you complete that backswing, let it complete, you'll see that I have a slight pause. I'm not telling you to pause, but for me, I'm pausing so I can feel like I've completed the backswing, my weight transfers happened, and then I fire that hip and I just let the arms fling through, okay? So those will help you take your range swing to the course. It's all about tempo, 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 okay? Trick yourself into thinking that you, you need to hit the club shorter than you actually do, and that will help relax you. It'll help keep you from letting your arms and, and, and upper body muscles take over when you really want the swing, like always, to be from the ground up, okay? I hope that helps you. Go out and give it a try next time you play around. Focus on your pre-shot routine. You've picked your club, you know the yardage, forget the yardage. You've picked your intermediate yard uh, or target, you've lined up to that. No more thoughts to what's gonna happen down there. Now start thinking about putting a pure, good tempo, good rhythm swing on the club and trick your brain. Just say, I don't need to hit all of this. I just need to hit it nice and mellow. And you'll be amazed at what kind of shots you'll hit. Hope this helps you. Uh, please hit the like button, subscribe, and come visit me at YourSimpleGolfSwing.com. Thanks. Have a great day.